Hey, what's going on? Evan here. Today we're going to be taking a look at this wet map HDA that I've made. And if you take a look at this, you can see that uh, the wet map is being transferred onto the ground. And as you may notice that it doesn't actually start dissipating right away. It waits a little bit and then it starts dissipating. And I think that's the the main part that I'm, I'm focused on with this HDA because I'd seen some tutorials on how to make a wet map and pretty much it would just transfer the attribute and then immediately it would start dissipating. However, that wasn't really, that really didn't give me the control I wanted. I wanted to be able to wait a certain amount of time and then start the dissipation. And so that's what this HDA allows you to do. All right, if we look at the actual HDA here down at the bottom, you'll see that there are two inputs. The first input on the left is the geometry to create the wet map on. And the second input on the right is the geometry that we're going to create the wet map from. And up at the top here, if we look at the settings, it's all pretty basic. This is just the attribute transfer settings that are used in the SOP solver node because, um, as you may have guessed, this is uh, this uh, wet map solver is just based off of a SOP solver. But the main features that I've added are the age attribute and the speed. The age attribute is the age at which dissipation will begin. So it says 25 here, so that means once once the area becomes wet, 25 frames later, that's when it's going to start dissipating. And then over here we have the speed and this is just a simple multiplier and so the wet map um, as soon as it gets applied it has a value of one and so here where it says 0 0.9 we're just multiplying it times 0 0.9 every frame so that means it's going to slowly dissipate over time and because this is in the simulation tab anything that you change here you're going to have to re-simulate if you head over to the post sim section anything that you change here you won't have to worry about re-simulating uh, this right here is just adding a little bit of blur to the attribute and then here this is just fitting the attribute to whatever range you need it to uh, i've set the default to zero and one which is most likely what you're going to need and then for visualization you can turn that on and off by default it's on um, because you can see the color right here and now if i go back over to this node and i turn it off you'll see that it, the visualization goes away. So this isn't anything too extraordinary, it's just a basic web map, but it allows you to control when the dissipation starts and that's the main thing. Now, of course, if you wanna see how it's made, you can always dive into this HDA. I'm not going to explain it too much because you can probably figure it out based off of what I've written. But um, as I said earlier, it's just a basic solver uh, with the attribute transfer in it. And what I've done, let me just go to the setup node really quickly. and move this down uh, the only thing that I'm really doing is I'm just comparing the current frame to the previous frame and then based off of that I'm creating a birth attribute which is the frame at which the geometry gets wet and then from there I can create an age attribute and then I use that age attribute to determine when to start the dissipation and that's really all it is and like I said you can always just come in here and look at it and see how I've done everything now if you do have any questions you can just leave a comment or shoot me an email well that's it for this video Thanks for watching.